Thomas Buckham came to Fairbow from New York State in 1855, where he'd been a school teacher. Before leaving, he promised his sweetheart, Anna Mallory, that he would make his fortune in the West and then return to marry her. It would take nearly ten years to convince her to step to the altar and move to Minnesota. Buckham quickly made a name for himself in town. He had a sharp mind and became a successful lawyer and later a respected judge. He invested his money carefully in land and buildings slowly building a substantial fortune. He was also active in the social and intellectual life of his new hometown and joined the new Fairbow Literary Society. Thomas later remembered, One year we had as lecturers Wendell Phillips, Stephen Douglas, Henry Ward Beecher, and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Following them came the Peak family, bell ringers, and Mr. Wheeler from Mankato, who astonished his audience by swallowing a blunt sword 22 inches long. Over the years, Buckham was a frequent sight around town, walking everywhere, stopping frequently to talk with young people. He kept a large personal library full of the Greek and English classics that he often shared. A nephew wrote, in his later years, after retirement, he became a kind of art and literature reference for the town. His memory of literary texts was remarkable. After a distinguished legal career, Judge Buckham retired from the bench in 1910. In later years, the judge walked and lived alone. For most of their married life, Thomas and Anna lived at the Hotel Brunswick. Finally, he decided to buy her a home. But after years of marriage, neither of them had any idea what to do with the house, and the judge scarcely bothered furnishing it. When Mrs. Buckham heard that her sister needed her in New York, she took off to care for her, and her absence stretched into years and then decades. For 26 years, Thomas wrote to Anna every day. Piece by piece, he bought exquisite furniture and goods for the house. He told his friends that he would soon go and bring her back, but he never did. After his death at age 92, Anna Buckham returned to Fairbow for the funeral and found to her astonishment a beautifully furnished home. As a memorial to her husband, Mrs. Buckham donated money to the city for a new library. She wanted a distinguished and handsome structure and hired a nephew, Charles Buckham, to design the library. As an architect, Charles had already made a reputation for himself in New York City, having worked for the Carnegie Foundation to assist with library plans. For the Fairbow Library, he designed a striking Art Deco edifice with a Casota stone exterior. Inside, to inspire the patrons, Anna Buckham paid for murals with Greek themes painted by Alfred Hislop, an art instructor at nearby Carleton College. And she also brought in one of America's most important stained glass artists, Charles Connick of Boston, to complete the windows. Connick is best known in Minnesota for his work at the Cathedral of St. Paul. Maybe in some way, Anna Buckham was thanking her husband for furnishing the house when she was gone. The library was dedicated in 1930, and Fairbow, the Athens of the West had gained a temple of learning. Thomas Buckham, the young man who was among the founders of the literary society at the town's inception, is remembered now through his library. Step inside for a moment to see the beautiful Greek window, located in the center of the original building, which Charles Connick described as an effort to express in light and color the spirit of the Greek tradition. <laughs>